Hi there. Praise the Lord. How are you doing today? God bless you. It's so good to be here again. Thanks for watching. I pray the grace of the Lord will continue to be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, what we shall be looking at is God's method of preparation. Amen. God's method of preparation. What is God preparing us for? Well, God is preparing us to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Amen. And also for service, to be able to serve him in righteousness, in holiness, for ministry, praise the Lord, and also for heaven, for the marriage supper in heaven, and to, be, to reign with Jesus Christ forever. So God is preparing us to be like Christ and to be able to serve him in ministry and also to prepare for rapture, to reign with him forever in heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, so how does God prepare his children? How does God prepare his people to become like Christ? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Like in 2 Timothy 2, 15, it says that those who want to live a godly life must suffer persecution. Amen. Those who want to live a godly life must suffer persecution. So we could see from this passage that people that want to live uh, a righteous life in Christ Jesus, they must. That is one of the criteria. They must suffer persecution. Praise the Lord. And also in 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Rightly dividing the word of truth. The first scripture is um, 2 Timothy 3, 12. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Praise the Lord. So if we want to be prepared to be like Christ, if we want to have a Christ-like character, if we want to be transformed, to be conformed to the image of God, one of the core causes is suffering. We are going to suffer, yes. The Bible says, study yourself, you know, to study to show yourself approved of God. So God has to approve you, otherwise you won't be qualified. Amen. So as we study the word of God diligently, the word of God is like fire. It purifies us. Amen. Amen. So through uh, suffering, God prepares True trials, he prepares. These are the ways God prepares for to become like Christ, to be perfect, to, to live a holy and righteous life. Praise the Lord as we walk in sanctification through obedience. Amen. He purifies us through suffering. Amen. So as children of God, we should be ready for suffering. We should be ready for suffering. Let, let's look at what um, Peter says, Apostle Peter, in First Peter 4, 1 and 2. It says, Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, harm yourselves also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Amen. See, he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. So through suffering in our flesh, we God purifies us from sin. He um, breaks our sinful desires. Amen. So that we are able to conform, to be conformed to the image of Christ. Hallelujah. And also in 2, it says that, that he no longer shall live the rest of his 
time in the flesh for the lust of men, but for the will of God. Amen. So as God purifies us, break, breaks us, and you know, destroy all the sinful fleshly desire in our lives, He quickens us through the Holy Spirit, and we are able to yield our life to God, to serve God, to do God's will. No longer living for the lust of the flesh. Amen. This is how God purifies his church through suffering. Amen. And you might want to say, why do that have to happen? Why must we go through suffering? Amen. Let's look at Jesus Christ himself. Jesus, who is our example, who is our Lord, our master. Amen. Jesus that said, follow me. And I will make you fishes of men. Let's look at what happened to Jesus. Amen. In um, Hebrew 5, 8 to 9. Praise the Lord. Let's read. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Whoa. Is that in your scripture? Let's read it again. Though he was a son, yet he learnt obedience by the things which he suffered. Amen. Jesus learnt obedience through suffering. Hallelujah. So Christ also suffered. So we also are going to suffer. And Jesus has told us that we are going to face a lot of trials, tribulations. But he has promised that we should be of good cheer. He has overcome. Amen. 9, Hebrew 5, 9 says, And having been perfected, Amen, He became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey Him. Hallelujah. So Jesus, after being perfected through suffering, we could see that the Bible says, that he became the author of eternal salvation for who? All who obey him. So it's only those who obey Christ, Jesus Christ, that follow him in obedience that will become eternally saved. Amen. Jesus has become the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. So it is important that we'll be obedient and we are going to suffer. Yes, as we deny ourselves, it's going to be suffering. As we carry our cross daily, there's going to be a lot of trials and suffering. The cross is not a good thing. It is full of unpleasantness, full of suffering, shame ridicule and we are going to carry it whether we like it or not as long as we desire to follow jesus christ we have to you know carry it and follow jesus christ in obedience and the lord has told us that i will give you grace amen amen so uh part of god's preparation uh, for our lives is the method that god prepares us is through suffering Trials through fire, through water. The word of God is fire, is like a hammer, is like water. The word of God is water, it cleanses us, it purifies us, it burns you know all our sinful desires, all our fleshly desires. Yes, it breaks us through the word of God, like in John 3 5 said. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born of water and of the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So we need to be purified through the word of God. Yeah, water, washing of the water. And sometimes the, the, the word will come like fire. Amen. To, to purify us. Praise the Lord. And sometimes the word of God is like hammer. It will break us just to mold us to um, conform to the image of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are going to go through trials, um, temptation, 
you're gonna go through pain suffering shame see what the bible says in philippians 2 about jesus christ it says that he despised the the shame he despised the shame because of the joy that was set before him despising the shame he endured the cross praise the lord so we too the Lord will give us the grace to be able to endure the cross, to be able to endure our suffering, our trials, as God prepares us for um, to be like Christ, to be able to build his kingdom on earth, to be able to serve him, to be able to uh, prepare for the marriage of the Lamb, for heaven, for rapture. Amen. So what do you need? What is your response when God is doing all this work in your life? When you're going through pain, trials, you need to be strong in your faith. To be strong in your faith. How do you do that? Through the word of God. Continue to study the word of God. Believe the word of God. Praise the Lord. And we also need yieldedness to yield to the Holy Spirit to have his way. Amen. We need to yield our life completely. And also we need love, love and obedience. When we love God, we trust him that no matter what we're going through, everything is working together for our good. Amen. Love and obedience is important. And um, our response when we are being made, when God is making us, is patience. We need to be patient. James 1, 2, 2. For said, we should rejoice, we should count it all joy when we go through diverse trials of our faith. Count it all joy. It's like rejoice, be joyful, and be patient. So we need to be patient and endure so that the walking, our patience will help us to become perfect. Patience is going to work out, it's going to produce perfection. In our lives amen praise the lord let me try to see uh james and let's let's read james no god loves us and he disciplines us he corrects us in love amen he said that the, those who i love i chase them praise the lord and so in love, God molds us, he breaks us, he purifies.